I'm Fernando, oh, Fab TV. Yeah, this is my favorite. Yes, it's, it's always been your favorite, right? Since, since 1971, Fab TV has been the, the best interviewers ever. You know it. You know it. <laughs> so, uh, how was it working on National Treasure, doing it all, like all of it? This is fun. This is crazy. You don't think these things are going to happen when you make a movie, and then it happens, and you think this is like this is a sign that people like your movie, that they wanted to make it a TV show. Right. So when it, when you're making a movie into a TV show, what challenges did you have to like make it uh, less movieish, I guess, or more movieish? What What's interesting is it used to be that a TV show was shorter than a movie. Now a television series is longer than a movie. So keeping a plot and these characters developing and going over such a long period is much harder. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah, it's script. The script is the hardest thing. The script's always the most important thing, but getting the writing right over all of these episodes is much harder than just filling an hour and a half. Wow. I wish, are you friends with your writers? I have loved these writers for 20 years. Uh, they did an amazing job on uh, the first movie and uh, created a just did so much that made the difference to, between a good movie and a great movie. And this series couldn't be done without their sort of knowledge of what it is and their gut feelings for what it is. You know, you actually really couldn't use anybody else for this. Think about it. For for writing? Yeah. It is amazing. I'll tell you the truth. Tell, oh, please, please, please tell me the truth. Trying to get a National Treasure 3 movie made means you keep trying and write script after script. And it is amazing how badly people misinterpret what they see and how hard it is to capture these characters in this movie. So you had to go back to people who've known it since the beginning to find it. You know, when I watch National Treasure, I've seen them all, everything. I'm really you into it. Look, you're like, I've seen them all. There's two movies. I, okay. I it's seen not like you watched the entire I watched, well, no, because I watched film. one and two multiple who, times. Who are you bragging to? <laughs> I've watched them all. You no, binged no, when I, when, two? Yes, I did. Because I'm into, like, uh, like, I think some of that stuff is true. Like, it could yes, be true. It is. What's so annoying is most of it is based in truth. So much of it is true. And we got knocked, like, oh, this is all fake. I got the stuff out of history books. We didn't get it out of, like, thin air. Right, right. But a lot of people think it's not. A lot of it's, it's like, 90% fake. I know. It's, and, they, and they have. What's great about making most of it real is that the, you know, the 9 and 10-year-olds don't get answers wrong at their history tests when they start claiming us as a source. Right, right. Oh, yeah. That doesn't go well. After I see the series, then I can say, I've seen all of them. Yes, after this year's of this, but I should send you like 25 drafts of each film and then you could read them all and then give us your opinion. Wow, you know what? That, maybe send me something else. Yeah. That's good. There's going to be more Pirates movies. Maybe you should go see those instead. Oh yeah, that sounds good. <laughs>